Okay, so Rajaratan, please introduce yourself. Uh, hello, sir. Good morning. Myself, Rajaratan Pondi Khilare. Uh, I have completed uh, my BTEC uh, in gra- BTEC graduation in uh, Pradeshni College of Engineering from Nagpur. Uh, in my BTEC, I have chosen uh, computer technology branch, uh, in which uh, I have uh, um, uh, I have come across the industrial skills like Python. And then uh, after my uh, bachelor's, uh, I come across the data analytics, uh, uh, data analysis role in the com- uh, in the uh, coming uh, industry of the IT. Uh, so I chosen data analysis uh, analyst as a career, and I am preparing myself uh, with the Python, uh, SQL, Excel, uh, um, Power BI, and uh, till now I have proficient in uh, Python as well and uh, as well as is uh, in uh, my SQL and excel okay great and what are your future goals rajaratan uh, talking about my future goals uh, i think uh, i want to be a, a good data analyst uh, uh, in the uh, f- uh, future industry uh, so that uh, ai cannot uh, can't replace me and uh, cannot take my job and i want to be a uh, uh, stand out in the uh, industry Okay, and for, and what are your uh, strength and weaknesses you have? Professional strength and weaknesses you have. Okay, uh, talking about my professional strengths, so I am good at visualizations. That's why I have chosen uh, uh, data analysis, and uh, I am quite uh, good uh, also in the presenting and explaining things, uh, so that uh, I can uh, uh, visualize uh, uh, any trends that are uh, in uh, present in the database, so that uh, that can be helpful in uh, uh, as uh, for me uh, as a data analyst talking about my weaknesses uh, i can bluffer uh, um, uh, or talk, uh, we, uh, we, while talking uh, and i'm uh, i'm uh, overcoming uh, that uh, weaknesses uh, uh, through uh, uh, joining uh, group discussions or uh, uh, informative talkings with my friends okay great and what inspires you to join this data analytics industry? Uh, as the uh, future of the IT industry, uh, moving towards the data science and the artificial uh, artificial intelligence. So, uh, and I have also interest in the visualizations uh, and analysis uh, that brings me to the data analysis and analysis as a career. Okay, so we will move towards the technical part. Oh, okay, sure. so I'm asking you some questions on my SQL. So. Please tell me what is the difference between primary key and foreign key? Uh, difference between uh, both are the constants uh, present in the uh, my uh, SQL. Uh, uh, primary key, uh, primary key uh, defines the that the column uh, in the table uh, should be not null or unique. Uh, unique uh, has not null and unique values present inside the column. Uh, whereas the uh, foreign key uh, connects the uh, 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 connect the referential table or uh, table from the another uh, column from from the another table into the present table okay into the present table great so i will give you one situation suppose there is one table in that table we have one primary key okay and in that table we have id 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay and that same column will become a foreign key in another table okay so there i am going to enter uh, ids uh, 1 2 3 4 and 5 but when I'm trying to enter the ID six in that second table, that particular ID is not able to insert there. So what will, uh, why these things will be happen? Uh, whenever we have a reference as a, a foreign key as a reference uh, into another table, uh, the it will check that the values uh, from the reference key should be matching values from the uh, previous table that we we have to connect with uh, connect connecting to the another table. Uh, if uh, if there is a six not present in the uh, table one, it should not uh, it it will not allows that uh, six value in into the table two. Table two. Okay, great. And why these constraints are very important in the MySQL? Uh, constraints are uh, very much important in the MySQL. Uh, while uh, while we manipulate the data, uh, whereas uh, whenever we have to enter, uh, whenever we define a table. <coughs> Uh, then only uh, the, then only we have to uh, enter the constraints. Uh, constraints uh, defines the uh, type of the um, what uh, what should be the type of the uh, column. Uh, what type of the data should be entered into the uh, uh, what should the values into the table should enter in, entered into the table. Uh, what type of the what uh, range 
what uh, what what should not be entered in that label uh, if if the non value non uh, null values are allow allow in the table the, uh, this all is checked uh, by the constants in the sql and then the data will be entered into the into the table there so in short uh, like uh, if we if we, if we want to uh, uh, reduce the redundancy redund redund uh, there okay inconsistent data in invalid data we don't want to to be entered in this uh, database at that time we will use this constraint uh, so because of the constraints we can say that uh, we reduce the data redundancy we are not uh, allowed to enter the inconsistent data okay uh, inappropriate data will not be entered there anomalies will not be entered there Okay, so because of that, uh, your data quality will be maintained. Your okay. database quality will be maintained. To maintain the anom uh, to maintain the data uh, quality, to remove the redundancy and anomalies from the table. Okay, great. So we will move forward towards the another part. Okay, uh, so there are some relationships in the tables. So can you explain me what kind of relationships are there? Uh, relationship uh, like in what? One to one, one to many relationships we have. Uh, there are uh, one to one uh, relationship or one to many relationships which uh, connects the uh, tables uh, if uh, it is one to one uh, connect uh, connectivity between the uh, two tables uh, we can say that the uh, one primary uh, primary key uh, one column is connected with the another column uh, from uh, to the another table and uh, one to many uh, one to many uh, connectivity Defines that the one column from the first table is connected to the uh, many column from the another table. Another table. Okay. Yeah. So let's move towards the next part. Okay. So can you name the data types which are used in MySQL? Uh, there are uh, various types of uh, data types. Uh, uh, like uh, in for numerical values, we can use uh, int, small int, or big int uh, as a data type. Uh, for uh, there are uh, for numerical also there are uh, another like uh, float and doubles uh, data types are also presented. For text value there are uh, character or uh, variable characters or text um, uh, text um, uh, data types are present there. Uh, these are the data types so, uh, in the ASQL we can use. Okay, suppose uh, I have one column and in that column I want to store the mobile numbers. Okay, so which data type you will apply to that column? Uh, mobile number can be show, uh, stored using the in data type or big in data type. Uh, big, uh, it, it, it is, uh, we can use uh, int data type also. Uh, big int uh, might be um, possesses uh, 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 more space when we use it. Okay, okay. It is suitable to use int only. Yeah. So I will suggest to uh, whenever you will get the mobile number and you want to store it into, into the into the one particular column at that time use big integer okay because that range of the big integer is very very big okay integer has some limitations so whenever we, we have the mobile number that mobile number may be start with the uh, 9192 72 this this kind of a series we have right now in the India and those numbers are only stored in the big integer there. So whenever you will get the mobile number, you will you have to use big integer there. Okay, okay. Let's move towards the next part. What is the difference between DDL and DML? When you will use DDL command, when you will use DML command? Uh, DDL commands defines the uh, uh, defines the creation of the uh, table. Whenever we uh, create the table, we use the DDL command. It defines the table uh, structure of the table. Uh, DDL commands includes create, uh, uh, drop. Truncate, uh, alter, <coughs> alter and truncate uh, commands. Uh, whereas the DML commands uh, includes insert, uh, update and delete commands. Uh, create while creating a table or uh, renaming, um, renaming any table, we use DML, uh, DDL commands uh, create uh, uh, to create a table to rename a table name or a database name uh, to. Uh, drop, drop and uh, truncate any uh, table or database. Uh, uh, drop uh, command can uh, delete the entire table, whereas the truncate uh, command only deletes the uh, deletes the uh, values or uh, rows from the table, and it uh, remain the uh, structure of the table. Uh, we, uh, uh, while using the DML commands, uh, there are the insert command, update command, and delete command. A delete command also deletes the uh, uh, rows from the table 
and uh, remains the uh, only structure of the uh, table. Uh, insert command insert the uh, values uh, into the table, whereas uh, update command uh, updates the inserted value in, into the table. Into the table. Okay. Okay. Great. So we will move towards the next part there. Okay. What is the difference between where clause and having clause? Uh, where clause and having clause uh, whenever uh, are used to filter out uh, the records from the ta uh, table uh, whenever we use uh, where clause it is uh, independently used uh, first of all and uh, whenever we use uh, uh, where clause we have to mention a condition whereas uh, it is um, it will filter out the records uh, which satisfy the condition whereas the uh, uh, having clause always used with the group by function uh, group by function uh, 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 categorize the uh, records based on uh, the group by condition and uh, when we uh, uh, having command we use having command with group by it will filter out only those records uh, in uh, which are which are uh, uh, satisfying the condition of the group by and filter out those command only uh, that are uh, mentioned in the having clause having clause okay okay great so yeah uh, we will move towards the next part there suppose uh, i'm having one table so uh, i'm having two tables there one is your customers table another one is your sales table and i want to find out those customers in for those customers who haven't made any order yet okay so because i am i am having one customers i'm having one sales table okay so i want to find out those customers who haven't placed any order yet so which joints you will perform there uh left join would be uh, appropriate for the uh, given condition uh, situation uh, we use uh, left join uh, we will take uh, customers uh, table as uh, left table and uh, we will perform a left join on the uh, left join on the customer id uh, where uh, order on the order id column uh, from the customer uh, customer uh, table and order table we uh, when we uh, apply the join, uh, left join on the both table it will combine the uh, records from the all the records from the left table and the only matching uh, matching columns uh, matching rows from the uh, sales tables where and we have to apply where uh, condition where uh, where the uh, uh, sales values uh, order uh, order value will be would be uh, null it will filter out the uh, records which customers uh, haven't ordered any uh, any product till it product till it okay okay yeah. so can you tell me the significance of subquery uh, subquery is uh, uh, used whenever we have to apply a complex uh, uh, complex conditions uh, to uh, for uh, two tables or multiple tables we have uh, then uh, we use subqueries okay can you explain me some scenarios where we can use subquery okay uh, if we have a table uh, we have a table where we have to apply a group by for uh, categorize uh, uh, categorize product like categories uh, based on the categories of the product and also we have to uh, find the categorical average of categorical average for, uh, for the uh, products which are present in the uh, table then we have to first first of all we have to categorize the uh, uh, product based on the category uh, then we have to apply the subqueries and form the average of the uh, uh, categorical uh, products okay so in short you if you want to do the complex filtration at that time we can use okay, subquery yes, there yes. and another situation is, situation is if you want to filter out the data from the two tables if you want to fetch the data from the two tables at that time also we can use the subquery there uh -huh. but the appropriate appropriate use case of subquery for me uh, is to whenever you want to filter out uh, you whenever you want to do the complex filtration at that time we can go with the subquery because from the two tables if i if I want to face data from the two tables i will go with the join there because i think join is a good approach yes. because subquery will take a uh, lots of time to execute with compared to the joins okay okay